the church is open, come on in. The Lord said, The time is coming when I will fulfill the promise that I made to the people of Israel and Judah. At that time, I will choose as king a righteous descendant of David. That king will do what is right and just throughout the land. The people of Judah and of Jerusalem will be rescued and will live in safety. The city will be called the Lord, our salvation. Advent is a season of expectant waiting, cheerful preparation and hopeful anticipation. There is value in waiting. Waiting can be a frustrating experience, but the time of waiting and preparation in Advent is for us an opportunity to grow to become more ready and receptive for what God in Christ wants to do. These weeks of Advent remind us of the centuries of waiting where Israel was growing in awareness and becoming more ready to receive her coming King. And may these four weeks of Advent allow us to reflect and think and become more aware of ourselves and others so that we grow in our faith and are more ready and receptive to what God is wanting to do. We reflect on his coming into the world in Christ, his coming the first time, his coming into our lives today, into the world of, our dar of darkness and sin, and we reflect upon his coming at the end of time. The third candle in the Advent wreath is a candle of joy. It reminds us of the joy that the shepherds experienced when the angel told them, Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be for all people. It makes us think of the joy that Mary experienced when the angel Gabriel told her that she would bear a child who would be special, who would be the one who would reign over the throne of his ancestor David and of his kingdom there should, would be no end. We think of how Christ comes as the foundation of joy and happiness and we open our hearts to receive him anew. So we light three candles, the candle of hope, the candle of peace and the candle of joy. And let us pray. O gracious God of promise and peace, we watch in joyful anticipation as we await the fulfillment of your glorious plan. Help us to grow in these weeks of waiting as we hear your word and live in your love. We thank you for the joy that you bring us. Help us prepare our hearts and minds for your gift of joy, peace and hope. Help us to hear and to do your word. We ask it in the name of the babe who was born in Bethlehem. Amen. <laughs>
That's all for today. Stay well, stay safe, and God bless.